welcome to Dr. Scott. Today our new topic is Creator Love. So I will tell you uh, in this uh, class, I will tell you about the first four Creator Loves. The first Creator Love is Olfactory Love. So here we go about the Creator Love. This, this diagram is all about the upper surface of nasal cavity or you can say about the nasal cavity. Here is the creepyform bread from where the Creator Love starts. So uh, from first the uh, Creator Love starts from a root lace known as olfactory root lace which contain bipolar nerve contain bipolar nerves so here i draw a factory root lens okay there are 15 to 20 olfactory root lens uh, the olfactory root lens joined at one portion and that meets at one area and this whole area is known as olfactory bulb this area is known as olfactory lobe so here is it is known as olfactory rootlets and this one is known as olfactory bulb okay bulb now i uh, after uh, joining at the olfactory bulb bulb this now goes form a tract known as olfactory tract here is the olfactory tract so i will write the name this portion is known as olfactory tract okay now this olfactory tract enters at into primary and secondary cortex enters into primary uh, and secondary cortex okay now uh, so here is a, our brain right here from here okay now we will cut brain from here to here okay and i will draw a diagram of this view right here i am drawing a diagram So, after olfactory bulb, it goes olfactory stria, right? Then, the, in brain, there is two stria. Actually, in some books, uh, they say three stria. So, I will tell you about the three stria. Okay. Uh, this one is known as medial olfactory stria. This one is known as lateral olfactory stria and it is known as intermediate olfactory stria but in some area this part intermediate olfactory stria also known as anterior perforated substance anterior perforated substance okay then after uh, going through this uh, stria they enters into they enters into uh, yeah before that i will tell you the primary uh, uh, cortex this part is known as primary olfactory cortex this part is known as primary olfactory cortex here i said they enter into primary and secondary cortex so this part that i drawn with a pink box this is known as primary cortex primary cortex okay now they go further and here we found a uncus like this here this part is known as uncus 
and this area is known as anterorhinal area okay and this part is known as secondary cortex secondary secondary cortex okay so uh, first primary cortex here i primary cortex it is useful for sense of smell if anyone ask what is the function of primary cortex so the function of primary cortex is the sense of smell sense of smell and the function of secondary cortex is here is our secondary cortex it's memory and feeling memory and feeling of smell okay like uh, if uh, we are uh, what is olfactory now it's all about the sense of smell so uh, the uh, from the receptors receptors of olfactory rootlets the smell will go inside and it cross through the olfactory bulb then after they uh, form a one tract and goes into the brain in brain they goes into the primary cortex primary cortex understand about the sense of the smell and the memorization of the sense of the smell is a, is the function of a secondary cortex and here is it is all about the olfactory uh, now so uh, let's quick recap olfactory now it starts from the cribriform plate of the nasal cavity or you can say the mucosa of the nasal cavity and they further goes into the bulb olfactory bulb and they uh, form one tract which comes into the uh, brain and uh, go through the primary cortex and secondary cortex in primary cortex they divide uh, there is two part uh, medial olfactory stia lateral olfactory stia and you also can say intermediate olfactory stia okay and the secondary cortex which is made up of entorhinal area and uncus so this is all about the uh, olfactory bulb yeah and one more thing that this rootlets also contain a cells the cells are known as olfactory cell or you can say mitral cells or you can say mitral cells so this is all about the olfactory now now i will tell you about the optic now okay optic now so here is our eyes like this and this right and I'm drawing a diagram so here is our eyes optic nerve is the function of optic nerve is to see the things right so from optic nerve uh, the light comes inside first they pass through roads and cones don't forget the point that is first parts to the roads and cones of the eyes that are located inside the eyes then it pass to optic chasma this part this this part is known as optic chasma chasma then after it goes into optic canal optic canal and then after it form a tract like the olfactory nerve it also form a optic canal but it forms a uh, optic tract right then they go to the thalamus here i am drawing the upper portion of the thalamus okay these are the thalamus right uh, beside the thalamus there is a 
geniculated body known as lateral geniculate body and medial geniculate body after optic tract they goes into then they go to the thalamus here i am drawing the upper portion of the thalamus okay these are the thalamus right uh, beside the thalamus there is a geniculated body known as lateral geniculate body and medial geniculate body after optic tract they goes into lateral geniculate body where lateral geniculate body then it form optic radiation like it go outside and form optic radiation this part is known as optic radiation and here this both are known as lateral geniculated body lateral geniculated body here i have a diagram where you get clear about the whole optic nerve so here you can see the full diagram of uh, optic nerve so here i start with you okay first these are the lens and here the eye okay then uh, after reaching to the uh, rods and cones they uh, they uh, form optic chiasma then after optic chiasma they form a optic tract in uh, here will be the canal optic canal then after they form a tract and go into the lateral geniculated body this is lateral geniculated body and uh, it is a uh, A superior colliculus and this is a pretractor and this is aqua ductus okay then they go to the geniculated body and then after they go into the uh, superior colliculus and uh, pretractor then after from geniculated body they also some are the nerves which goes uh, from geniculated body to the lobe uh, it is a occipital lobe and this a calcium sulcus so they go into the occipital lobe and in the uh, can uh, calcium sulcus so here is all about the optic nerve okay from the thing that uh, is not uh, inside the book uh, so here i want to say you about the usmle uh, students so uh, for usmle students this this part is known as temporal hemi retina this part is known as nasal hemi retina and here is a nasal and here is the tempora this go into the uh, nasal goes one pathway uh, on the right side of the lateral geniculative body and they go to uh, and the uh, temporal uh, hemi retina goes on the left part of the lateral geniculated body then after this nerve uh, goes into two parts for example uh, how i uh lobes uh skull have two lobes right parietal lobe and temporal lobes so this uh, the nerves which are going from parietal to occipital they are the upper side uh, which reach the parietal bone and go into the occipital some nerves are also there which go from the beside reach to the temporal bone and goes into the lateral uh, occipital lobe here is the same situation so it is not included for a college books so uh, it's for the usmle or other competitive exams okay now i will tell you about oculomotor nerve oculomotor nerve which is third cranial nerve okay so Uh, first i will tell you the surface thing then i will tell about the nuclei tropograph uh, tropography and uh, more about it so first i will draw a diagram here is our mid brain right it's our mid brain and this is inter pedicular fossa this is cerebral pedicle right this is pons and this is medulla and is the spinal 
called right right and is this is the aqua ductus and uh, this is you know that substantia nigra which is black in color that's why it's known as uh, nigra okay now you know this is interpedicular fossa this now start it have their own nucleus it contains two nucleus so it starts from the nuclear motor nervi oculomotor nucleus of a nucleus of the oculomotor now so it starts from this nucleus and goes into the interpedicular fossa they go into the interpedicular fossa like this then after go going it take turn backs and goes into the cerebral peduncle it goes into the cerebral peduncle this is the surface thing that uh, is necessary for the oculomotor now so now i will tell you about the nucleus right so oculomotor now contain two nucleus two nucleus okay the first nucleus the first nucleus is known as nucleus of oculo motor now and in a latin this nucleus is known as nucleus motorius nervi oculo motor i will write nucleus nucleus nervi oculo motor thing okay so here is our first nucleus this nucleus have motor fibers this nucleus have motor fibers so uh, this nucleus is resident uh, within midway below cerebral and aqua ductus on the level of superior colliculus so here i said that this is a cerebral aqua ductus right so it lies beside to the cerebral aqua ductus and here will be the superior colliculus and uh, uh, below that there will be inferior colliculus so this nucleus reside within midbrain below cerebral aqua ductus on the level of superior colliculus here is the level of superior colliculus okay now i will tell you about the second nucleus that nucleus name is accessories nervi oculo motor it's a parasympathetic nucleus uh, it contains para sympathetic fibers it contains para sympathetic fibers so if anyone asks oculomotor is a mixed nerve or not so yes the answer is yes oculomotor nerve is a mixed nerve mixed now okay so first i will tell you the function of parasympathetic fibers or if anyone asks you the function of the accessory uh, nucleus nervi so here we go uh, it contains preganglion fibers comprises pre ganglionic fibers okay it enters into the orbit these fibers part the motor fiber and this cil uh, ciliary ganglion so first here i will draw write a pathway first it enters into the orbit then it goes to the ciliary ganglion which is literally to the optic nerve okay then it joins short ciliary muscles short ciliary muscles then they supply to two things two muscles i mean to say they supply to two muscles 
okay the first muscle is ciliary muscle muscles and another muscle is sphincter pupillae sphincter pupillae so this is all about the accessory nu nucleus okay now if anyone asks what are the branches of oculomotor nerve so there are two branches two branches of oculomotory nerve oculomotor nerve so here we are ramus in latin it is known branch is known as ramus right so ramus superior and ramus inferior ramus superior and ramus inferior so ramus superior and ramus inferior right so ramus superior supplies two muscles superior rectus and levator palpebrae superior levator palpebrae superior okay inferior supplies two three muscles <coughs> first muscle is medial rectus inferior rectus and inferior oblique muscles inferior oblique muscles inferior oblique muscles so this is all about the oculomotor now right now i will tell you the last topic of this video and uh, it is about the trochlear nerve so first trochlear nerve trochlear nerve okay it contains only one nucleus yes trochlear nerve contains only one nucleus that nucleus is known as nucleus nervi trochlearis or nucleus of trochlear nerve in english okay so this nerve is the only nerve which starts from the back of the cns yes this nerve starts from the brain stem of the uh, brain stem okay so here i draw a diagram from the lateral surface so here is the pons medulla and this then it's a superior colliculus and inferior colliculus and spinal cord for the right so this nucleus is located and here and it goes backward and go forward like this uh, i will tell you about the superior view of the this uh, brain stem right so here is our mid brain i am drawing from the back side of the mid brain right so this is the superior colliculus and inferior colliculus uh, so superior colliculus is like this and inferior colliculus so so i cut the brain stem from here so you can see only the inferior colliculus right so the, this is a inferior colliculus so and after before that here let color here is the nucleus of trochlear nerve nucleus of trochlear nerve so the nerve starts like this go backward and then go forward like this yes this is the trochlear nerve pathway so it's arises from the brain stem and laterally from the frenulum of the superior medullary velum right now actually nerve loops around the cerebral peduncle transverse the lateral wall of the cornea and enter the orbit okay so it finally enters the orbit so this is all about the trochlear nerve so from here the main nerve is oculomotor nerve for study because it's a too long nerve so and it contains two nucleus two branches etc right so here uh, today we learn about the four cranial nerve the first nerve is olfactory nerve second is optic third is oculomotor nerve and fourth is trochlear 
now okay so here is all about our today's topic next topic will be about the fifth cranial nerve and six right and the one more thing now the doctor's call is on telegram facebook and insta three of them so please follow and subscribe us on the telegram facebook and insta and the uh, name uh, link is in description go and follow and if someone wants notes of mine so please contact me uh, dm me in comment box on youtube or especially dm me on instagram facebook or telegram so i will see your messages and reply it so hope you understand if you have any doubt please comment me on comment section thank you